If you are natural with open tunings or you were born down at the crossroads with a dobro in your hands, then this lesson is probably not for you. But for the rest of us that play in standard tuning 99% of the time, then this lesson will show you a couple of cool things that you can do to get some cool slide sounds going in standard tuning. Hey, I'm John Hatcher with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues lesson number 174. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the main reason why you should learn slide guitar in standard tuning. Plus, stick around, and I'm going to show you that little slide number that you saw at the very beginning of this video. Before we get started, if you're new here, be sure to hit subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, hit a thumbs down. And uh, if you've been around the BGI lessons, then I really appreciate you coming back. And for my premium members, be sure to check out the premium library. I am working hard on getting a slide guitar course out to you. Cool stuff coming there, so be sure to check in on your library. All right, let's get to it. All right, so back in lesson number 173, we talked about um, what you really need to get started playing slide guitar, and it comes down to really two things. First, a slide, Mr. Obvious here. And then second, a desire to really get started, and you can remove a lot of the other stuff about you know changing guitars or setting up a high action, thicker string gauge, all that stuff. I don't want you to get clouded in that. I want you to just get started. And keeping in those lines, another thing that can really confuse people right off the rip are open tunings. And they definitely sound cool. They're very alluring. You want to go into that. And we will cover some of that stuff on Tuesday Blues. So don't worry. But I want you to kind of graduate into it. And as you're getting used to playing with a slide, focus more on what's happening with the slide. You can play some cool licks and stuff like what we're going to get into in standard tuning. Um, so we'll, we'll get some of this stuff under your slide, but the first thing to focus on is getting good, clean notes. And really, that's the biggest reason that you should start playing slide guitar in standard tuning. It's what you know. It's what you're comfortable with. It's what, if you're jamming with your buddies, no one's going to sit around and wait for you to retune a guitar or anything like that for just a couple of cool slide licks. So there's something about being ready and you can be ready in slide uh, in standard tuning with just a simple slide if you're armed with some knowledge. All your licks and everything that you know and love, they work. They work under this slide. You just have to really focus on translating what you know and can do with your fingertips to what you can do with this thing on your finger. So to help you along that uh, line, we're, we're definitely going to cover a cool little lick here. And it's what you heard at the very beginning of the video. This is in standard tuning. Of course, we talked about that enough already. But uh, we're going to approach this from the key of G. And I'm basically going to work around this little groove where I've got my thumb on the sixth string uh, third fret. Got it hooked over the fretboard. And we're going to really dive into this little groove. And really just alternating between the lower notes and the open fourth string and third string. Those notes work great over a G because they come right out of a G chord. The fact is we've got D, which is the fifth of G, and then the G itself. Then we're going to toss this little deal in where we're going to pluck these two strings together. So these fingers kind of um, stick together in this little groove. And what we're going to do is this little slide move where we go open, third fret on those two strings, that pair, open, fifth fret, and then apply some nice vibrato there. going to answer that with this little lick and it happens on the single string so a single note lick so we do this on the third string where it's open and then slide down from three to two then open and then tag this high g there to end it out just kind of stick that note on the first string really cool sound little jump may take you a minute to get but practice on that because it, it's a really cool sound we end with this nice octave G here 
and it's a great way to know if you've got this note properly uh, played with the slide because with this G ringing you'll hear if you're sharp you'll hear if you're flat you want to stick that note same as if you fretted it that's what you're going for here so the rest of this little deal continues as we move the piece up into our four chord C with a nice little sweet lick right there. So we slide in and we're still kind of pumping those middle two strings there. But the slide lick happens really as we slide up from four to six and then back down. Uh, to the fourth fret and that's on the second string but this is a cool slide trick and that says we're sliding back up from the fourth fret on the second string before we get anywhere really on the second string we're targeting the fifth fret on the third string we're targeting that C note so you hear this quick slide coming out of the fourth fret Just kind of pick out there on that C note then we go back to our little chord here we're gonna slide up and really call out this G note in this um, really wide lick here so we're sliding into the G on the eighth fret second string then we're gonna slide back down to the third fret And then that same sort of slide technique where we come up from three to five on the third string, but before we get there, we're gonna hit this G. And here that slide down to the third fret is so quick. traveling a pretty good distance here and if you're new your hands gonna want to fly all over the place so go slow and make sure that you can get a good clean note here it's harder than you think and then slide back down to the third fret and make sure that you can get a clean note there the fundamental notes that you can get them down before you start getting fast with it. But then we're going to hop back into the G part and really just kind of loop ourselves around here. Let's have a listen to this thing played again so you can get it stuck in your ear then grab your slide and get going on this thing. There you go, a tasty slide lick in standard tuning. And um, we talked about the reasons that you would want to play slide in standard tuning from its convenience to the, the fact that if you're new to slide and you're getting into it, that it pays to focus on just one thing, one part of your technique at a time and really move into open tunings a little bit later. We'll preview, we're going to get into that stuff. But for now, practice up in standard tuning, practice this lick. But before you run off and get practicing, I wanna tell you about uh, free membership with Blues Guitar. Our Institute. I encourage you to head over to the website and check out free membership. Register for free. And I've got some goodies there for you, including some tabs and some mini courses and some stuff that will help you along your blues journey. That's it for this week. Until next week, be sure to practice hard and play on. <laughs>